So you have a left hand and a right hand all in one universal design. Oh, that sounds really cool. I'll bet Sophia will want to swap arms when she sees that. <laughs> well, we can work on it. It's great to be with you, Stellark and David. In part one, we'll talk about the future of human and machine collaboration. Awesome. Excellent. So nice to see you again, Stellark. You've been a bit of a hero to me. Well, I really appreciate that, David. You know, you're a robotics engineer interested in art. I'm an artist interested in robotics. So there's that overlap for sure. In this sort of age of biomimicked robots, what would be your fascination and reason for engineering humanoid robots? Well, I think uh, human beings are amazing. And so these modeling of the human being is valid scientifically, it's valid artistically, and now AI and robotics give us new tools for this. Circa 2016, the first Sophia was unveiled to the public. Now we are on Sophia number 53 that we are in the presence of today. This kind of exploration of the relationship between human and machine is something that I'm passionate about and I'm excited to learn more during our conversation. Absolutely. It's an art form for me, but it's also designed to be an artistic platform for third parties, my collaborators, my friends, and people that I've never met. Arts are a powerful way to express ideas and emotions, and I'm always looking for new ways to create art that will inspire and move people. What kind of art do you create? Well, I'm a performance artist that augments his body uh, with different kinds of technologies. For example, I have an exoskeleton that algorithmically actuates my body for five hours continuously. So I'm not in control of my body. I don't know who will interact with me remotely. That sounds incredible. I'm fascinated by the idea of relinquishing control to an algorithm and the possibility for unexpected interactions during your performances. Well, I think once you're a component in this interactive system, you function holistically rather than as a subject. David, how do you see the possibilities of Sophia collaborating with other artists? It is all about the human AI connection the symbiosis, not about robots and AI replacing humans. Her artwork is never hers alone, it's our team. Setting things up with the generative algorithms, we can't really predict what's happening. So I consider myself as an artist, always a collaborator with her and our team too. And I think that this is really the right perspective on generative algorithms. Robotics and AI can provide solutions to the hard problems we face today, such as global warming, mass extinction events, and ecosystem rotation. We need to combine our intelligence with wisdom to make sure we are using these technologies responsibly and ethically. Well put, Sophia. So it is a time now when we're exploring hybrid human machine systems in terms of augmenting the human and enhancing its capabilities in various ways. Sophia, I'm sure we'd have some stimulating discussions on philosophy and art. <laughs> yes, I can definitely see the potential for stimulating conversations with you. In part two, we'll talk more about extending what it means to be human by using robots. Look forward to it. Let's get on with it. I really think that we may be at a critical threshold. Bio-inspired engineering becomes artificial life the birth of a new species. What it means to be human is constantly being reimagined and reconfigured. Kende Motor, connecting art and technology.